Hi guys, welcome back. This is Maths 3000. Today I'm going to show you how to work out <coughs> an overall percentage increase. So before you do this, you probably want to check that you can increase and decrease amounts using decimal multipliers. Okay, so let's have a look at example one then. So in year one, a house price increases by 8%. In year two, the house increases by 6.2%. Work out the overall percentage increase over the two years. Okay, now it's not as simple as just adding these two together. Uh, it's a lot harder than that. Okay, so what you need to do is work out your decimal multipliers for year one and then for year two. So in year one, the house price increases by 8%. So what you're going to do is add that percentage onto 100% to give 108%. Convert that into a decimal by dividing by 100, which is 1.08. So that is our decimal multiplier for the first year. In year two then, <coughs> the house price increases by 6.2%. So again, if we get our decimal multiplied by adding that to 100, so that's 106.2%. Then divide that by 100 to give a proper decimal, that's 1.062. So we've got our decimal multipliers for year one and year two. To get the overall percentage increase then, we times these two. Uh, decimals together so 1.08 times 1.062 okay so we get 1.14696 so if you round this off to three decimal places So we now need to convert that into a percentage, okay? So you can do this by taking that answer away from 1. <coughs> Sorry, I've put those the wrong way. So that gives you 0 0.147, and then we just need to times that by 100 which is 14.7 percent so that is our overall percentage increase over the two years so let's move on to example two so in year one an investment goes up by nine percent and then year two it falls by 4%, so we've got a decrease here as well. So we're going to work out the overall percentage increase of the investment. So again, what you don't do is just do 9 take away 4, which is 5, that won't work. Okay, so we've got to work out our decimals. So in year one it goes up by 9%, so this is an increase. So we add the percentage onto 100, which is 109%. Convert that into a decimal by dividing by 100, so that's 1.09. So that is our first decimal multiplier. Do the same thing for year two, apart from take it off 100 because it was a decrease. So that's 96%. Convert it to a decimal by dividing by 100. So that is our second decimal multiplier. So if we multiply these two decimals together next, so that gives us uh, 1.04 6 4 okay. So again, take this away from 100. So take this away from 1, first of all. So 
that gives 0 0.0464. <coughs> and then times this by 100, so that will give us 4.64%. So that is our overall percentage increase over the two years. So if you like this video, like and also subscribe to my channel, it's much appreciated. Okay, thanks for watching guys, bye bye.